7 Deadly Food Combinations That You Don't Know About Are you tired of feeling sluggish after meals? Do you ever wonder why certain food combinations leave you feeling bloated or uncomfortable? Well, the answer might lie in your diet. Imagine this, you're eating what you think is a healthy diet, but you still find yourself falling ill frequently. What if I told you that some food combinations could secretly be weakening your body's defenses? The seemingly enticing and delicious food combinations unwittingly lead to fatal consequences. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, in the United States estimate that each year, about 48 million people get sick from foodborne illnesses. This leads to approximately 128,000 hospitalizations and 3,000 deaths annually. But fear not. I'm not here to instill fear or make you give up your favorite foods. Instead, I'm here to share practical tips and alternative options to empower you in making informed choices and naturally boosting your health. So, grab a pen and paper because you'll want to jot down these insights. From unsuspecting food combinations to hidden additives, we'll uncover how seemingly harmless choices could be wreaking havoc on your health without you even realizing it. By cutting these out of your daily diet, you can achieve better balance and overall well-being. Don't click away just yet. Stick around until the end of the video because the information I'm about to share could potentially save you from future health issues. Let's get started with number 1. 1. Citrus Fruits and Dairy Combining citrus fruits, such as oranges, with dairy products like milk is a common practice in many cuisines, but few people are aware of the potential risks associated with this combination. Scientifically, there are reasons why mixing citrus fruits with dairy should be avoided, especially for certain individuals. One primary reason is related to digestion. Citrus fruits contain acids like citric acid, which can curdle the proteins in milk. When milk is mixed with acidic substances like citrus juice, it can lead to the formation of curdles or clumps in the stomach, causing discomfort or indigestion. This is because the acidity of the citrus fruit lowers the pH level of the milk, causing the proteins to coagulate and form curds. Furthermore, combining citrus fruits with dairy may also interfere with nutrient absorption. Citrus fruits are rich in vitamin C, which enhances the absorption of non-heme iron from plant-based foods. However, the calcium present in dairy products can inhibit the absorption of non-heme iron when consumed together. This can be particularly concerning for individuals at risk of iron deficiency, such as older adults or vegetarians who rely on plant-based sources of iron. To illustrate, a study published in the Journal of the American College of Nutrition found that consuming orange juice fortified with calcium significantly reduced the absorption of iron from a meal compared to drinking water. This highlights the potential impact of combining citrus fruits with dairy on nutrient absorption and overall health. Instead of combining citrus fruits with dairy, a better alternative is to pair them with non-dairy alternatives or other complementary foods. For example, you can enjoy a refreshing citrus salad with mixed greens, nuts, and a vinaigrette dressing. Alternatively, citrus fruits can be incorporated into smoothies made with almond milk or coconut milk for a creamy texture without the dairy. Another option is to use citrus zest or juice as a flavorful garnish for dishes like grilled fish or roasted vegetables, adding brightness and acidity without the need for dairy. These alternatives not only avoid the potential digestive issues associated with combining citrus fruits with dairy but also offer a delicious and nutritious way to enjoy the refreshing flavors of citrus. Let's move on to another type of fruit that many people often combine with milk. Can you guess what it is? 2. Bananas and Milk Do you enjoy drinking banana smoothies with milk? Combining bananas with milk is a common practice in many cuisines, from smoothies to cereal toppings. However, there are scientific reasons why this combination may pose potential health risks, particularly for certain individuals. One primary reason is related to digestive issues. Bananas contain enzymes that may interfere with the digestion of dairy proteins, such as casein and whey. These enzymes, particularly amylase and sucrase, 
can break down starches and sugars in bananas, leading to incomplete digestion of dairy proteins in the stomach. As a result, some people may experience discomfort, bloating, or gas after consuming bananas and milk together. Another concern is related to nutrient absorption. Bananas are rich in certain minerals, such as potassium and magnesium, as well as vitamins like vitamin C and B6. However, the presence of calcium and other minerals in milk may interfere with the absorption of these nutrients from bananas. Calcium can bind to other minerals in the digestive tract, forming insoluble complexes that are less readily absorbed by the body. Therefore, consuming bananas with milk may potentially reduce the bioavailability of essential nutrients present in bananas, leading to suboptimal nutrient absorption. Furthermore, there is a potential risk of allergic reactions for individuals with specific food allergies. While banana allergies are relatively rare, milk allergies are more common, particularly in children. Combining bananas with milk increases the likelihood of exposure to allergenic proteins present in both foods, which can trigger allergic reactions ranging from mild itching or hives to more severe symptoms like difficulty breathing or anaphylaxis. Instead of combining bananas with dairy, try pairing them with non-dairy alternatives like almond milk. Almond milk offers a creamy texture and subtle nutty flavor that complements bananas perfectly, without the potential digestive issues associated with mixing bananas and dairy. Additionally, almond milk is naturally lactose-free and lower in calories and fat than cow's milk, making it a healthier option for those watching their calorie intake or following a plant-based diet. You can easily create delicious and nutritious banana smoothies or oatmeal toppings by swapping dairy milk for almond milk. Now, we'll dive deep into the ocean. Let's explore the unique combination below and uncover its potential implications for health. 3. Fish and Dairy Combining fish with dairy products may appear appetizing, but there are significant health concerns associated with this pairing, particularly for certain individuals. A key issue lies in the realm of digestion and nutrient absorption. Fish boasts abundant proteins, notably myosin, whereas dairy products offer calcium and casein proteins. When consumed simultaneously, the calcium in dairy can impede the digestion of myosin in fish, resulting in digestive discomfort like bloating, gas, or indigestion. Additionally, this combination can foster the production of detrimental compounds within the digestive system. Certain amino acids present in fish, such as histidine, can react with dairy calcium to generate histamine, known for triggering allergic responses that manifest as headaches, itching, or nausea in sensitive individuals. Moreover, the risk of foodborne illnesses escalates. Raw or undercooked fish may harbor bacteria or parasites, while dairy products are also prone to bacterial contamination. Pairing these foods, as in sushi rolls with fish and dairy-based sauces, heightens the risk of food poisoning if proper handling and storage protocols are neglected. Furthermore, there's the potential for nutrient imbalances. While fish provides omega-3 fatty acids and lean protein, dairy products can be rich in saturated fats and cholesterol. Excessive consumption of this amalgamation could upset dietary equilibrium, potentially predisposing individuals to cardiovascular ailments such as heart disease or stroke. Instead of incorporating cheese into your seafood pasta, try enhancing the flavor with fresh herbs, lemon zest, or a light vinaigrette. These alternatives not only complement the delicate flavor of fish but also provide a healthier and more digestion-friendly option. Fresh herbs like parsley, basil, or dill can add brightness and depth to your dish, while lemon zest adds a refreshing citrusy note. A light vinaigrette made with olive oil, vinegar, and herbs can serve as a flavorful dressing that enhances the natural taste of the fish without overpowering it. By opting for these alternatives, you can enjoy a delicious seafood meal that is both satisfying and nourishing, without the potential digestive issues associated with combining fish and dairy products. Next, let's talk about meat. Do you think there are any types of food that, when combined with meat, would affect your health? 4. Meat and starches. Do you often eat meat with potatoes? 
the combination of meat and starches, such as potatoes, is a staple in many diets, yet the scientific underpinnings of potential digestive issues arising from this pairing often go unnoticed. Meat, rich in protein, necessitates acidic conditions in the stomach and the enzyme pepsin for digestion. Conversely, starches like potatoes are primarily carbohydrates, broken down by enzymes like amylase in the mouth and pancreas. When consumed together, the body may struggle to maintain optimal pH levels and enzyme activity, hindering efficient digestion. This can result in slower digestion and the fermentation of undigested food, leading to discomfort, bloating, and gas. Furthermore, the combination may elevate overall caloric intake, potentially contributing to weight gain and metabolic concerns over time. Certain cooking methods, like frying potatoes or consuming fatty meats, can exacerbate these issues. Similarly, highly processed starches such as white bread can spike blood sugar levels, compounding digestive discomfort when paired with meat. A study in nutrients found that meals high in both protein, from meat, and carbohydrates, from starches like potatoes, significantly prolonged gastric emptying time compared to single-nutrient meals, exacerbating feelings of fullness and discomfort. Instead of pairing meat with starchy sides like potatoes, consider opting for a colorful salad or steamed vegetables. These options not only provide essential nutrients and fiber but also support smoother digestion. Vegetables contain enzymes and fiber that aid in the breakdown and absorption of nutrients, promoting better digestive health. Additionally, the variety of textures and flavors in vegetables can enhance the overall dining experience, making your meal more enjoyable and satisfying. So, next time you're planning a meal, consider incorporating a variety of vegetables to complement your meat dish and support optimal digestion. Next, let's explore the realm of foods high in sugar. Are you curious to know what happens when they're combined with protein? 5. High Sugar Foods and Protein Combining high sugar foods with protein sources is a widespread dietary habit that often flies under the radar, yet it poses notable health hazards. One primary concern stems from the divergent impact on blood sugar levels. High sugar foods like sodas, pastries prompt rapid spikes in blood sugar due to their high glycemic index, while protein-rich foods like meat, fish, and poultry undergo a slower digestion process with minimal effect on blood sugar. However, when consumed together, the swift blood sugar surge induced by high sugar foods can trigger an exaggerated insulin response. Persistent overproduction of insulin can foster insulin resistance, elevating the risk of metabolic disorders such as type 2 diabetes, obesity, and cardiovascular disease. Additionally, Pairing high-sugar foods with protein can disrupt the body's satiety mechanisms, potentially leading to overconsumption. Although protein typically induces feelings of fullness and regulates appetite, the rapid blood sugar spike from sugary foods can override these signals, prompting increased cravings and calorie intake. Moreover, this combination can impede digestion. Sugary foods ferment in the gut, causing gas and bloating, while protein-rich foods necessitate different digestive enzymes. Consuming them concurrently strains the digestive system, culminating in discomfort, indigestion, and gastrointestinal disturbances. For instance, a study in the Journal of Nutrition showcased that meals high in both sugar and protein markedly elevated postprandial glucose and insulin levels compared to meals containing either component alone, indicating potential metabolic ramifications. One effective tip is to opt for natural sweeteners instead of refined sugars. For instance, instead of topping your Greek yogurt with sugary granola, try adding fresh berries or a drizzle of honey for sweetness. These natural alternatives not only provide a healthier source of sweetness, but also pair well with protein-rich foods without causing the rapid blood sugar spikes associated with refined sugars. By making this simple swap, you can enjoy the benefits of both protein and sweetness without compromising your blood sugar levels or overall health. Next, we'll move on to a type of food that is incredibly common in everyone's breakfast. Can you guess what it is? 6. Eggs and Dairy Do you usually eat eggs and drink milk in the morning? Combining eggs with dairy, 
such as milk or cheese, may seem like a harmless culinary choice, but there are scientific reasons why this combination can pose risks to health, particularly for certain individuals. One primary reason is the potential for bacterial contamination. Both eggs and dairy products are susceptible to contamination by harmful bacteria such as salmonella. When eggs are cracked open, the shell can contain bacteria that may contaminate the egg white or yolk. Similarly, dairy products like milk and cheese can harbor bacteria if not handled and stored properly. In fact, the combination of eggs and milk is often carried out at lower temperatures. When cooking eggs with milk, people typically add milk to the eggs before they coagulate, such as when making quiche or pudding. But, there is a risk of bacterial growth if the dish is not cooked to the proper temperature or stored at the correct temperature. Another concern is the potential for foodborne illnesses, including salmonellosis. Salmonella bacteria can cause symptoms such as diarrhea, abdominal cramps, fever, and vomiting, which can be particularly severe in older adults or individuals with weakened immune systems. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, salmonella infections are responsible for an estimated 135 million illnesses, 26,500 hospitalizations, and 420 deaths in the United States each year. The combination of eggs and dairy can also pose risks for individuals with specific dietary restrictions or allergies. For example, some people may be allergic to eggs or dairy, and consuming dishes that contain both ingredients can trigger allergic reactions ranging from mild discomfort to severe anaphylaxis. Moreover, there is a concern about the potential for nutrient absorption interference. Some research suggests that certain proteins in eggs may bind with calcium in dairy products, potentially reducing the absorption of calcium and other essential nutrients. This could be problematic for older adults who require adequate calcium intake to maintain bone health and prevent osteoporosis. Instead of combining eggs and dairy, a lesser-known yet healthier alternative is to use plant-based milk alternatives, such as almond milk or oat milk, with eggs in recipes. These milk substitutes not only provide a creamy texture but also offer added nutritional benefits like vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. For example, when making scrambled eggs, try substituting cow's milk with unsweetened almond milk. This swap not only reduces the risk of bacterial contamination but also caters to individuals with lactose intolerance or dairy allergies. Additionally, it enhances the flavor profile of the dish while promoting overall health and well-being. Last but certainly not least, let's explore a common combination for dieters. However, the hidden truth behind it may surprise you. 7. Fruits and Grains Do you like eating fruits with grains? Mixing fruits with grains, such as bread or cereal, is often heralded as a healthy dietary practice, but comprehending the scientific rationale behind this combination's potential health effects is paramount, as it may yield unforeseen consequences. One critical factor influencing the impact of pairing fruits with grains is their disparate digestion processes. Fruits boast simple sugars swiftly absorbed, leading to rapid spikes in blood sugar levels. Conversely, grains harbor complex carbohydrates digested more gradually, resulting in a slower blood sugar elevation. When ingested together, the swift blood sugar surge from fruits can prompt insulin secretion, precipitating energy fluctuations, cravings, and hunger. Prolonged exposure to this cycle may foster insulin resistance, metabolic ailments, and heighten the susceptibility to type 2 diabetes. Furthermore, blending fruits and grains can disturb gut microbiota equilibrium. While fruits furnish prebiotics nurturing beneficial gut bacteria, coupling them with grains, particularly refined ones, may lack ample fiber for optimal gut health. Certain grains may even contain anti-nutrients impeding nutrient absorption or irritating the gastrointestinal tract. Additionally, the amalgamation might compromise nutrient utilization efficiency. While fruits abound in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, grains offer carbohydrates and vital nutrients. Nonetheless, 
consuming them concurrently might impede nutrient absorption owing to food component interactions or grains anti-nutrient content. Studies suggest that pairing high glycemic index foods like bread or cereal with fruit substantially heightens blood sugar levels compared to consuming fruits alone, thereby influencing metabolic health and blood sugar regulation. When it comes to combining fruits and grains, it's best to avoid mixing high sugar fruits with refined grains like white bread. Instead, opt for pairing fruits with whole grains such as oats or quinoa. Whole grains contain more fiber and nutrients, which can help slow down the absorption of sugars from fruits and prevent rapid spikes in blood sugar levels. This combination provides a healthier balance of carbohydrates, fiber, and nutrients, promoting better digestion and sustained energy levels throughout the day. If you found the information in this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more insightful content like this in the future. Do you know of any other food combinations that could pose risks to health? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll explore them further in upcoming videos. In conclusion, while overlooking the risks associated with these seven dangerous food combinations may seem insignificant, it's crucial to recognize that understanding the potential dangers transcends geographical boundaries. In our globalized world, exposure to diverse cuisines and ingredients is inevitable. Therefore, staying informed is key to protecting yourself from unforeseen health risks. Quit now! Drinking alcohol will slowly and painfully kill you with these seven dagger blows. Have you ever found yourself caught in the seemingly innocent embrace of alcohol? Or witnessed those around you gleefully succumbing to its allure at social gatherings? It's a captivating scenario, but one that often conceals a much darker truth. Behind the ephemeral joy of these moments lies a perilous journey that, over the years, has resulted in an alarming number of lives lost due to alcohol-related causes. In just the past decade, an estimated 3.3 million deaths globally have been attributed to alcohol consumption, leaving families and loved ones grappling with both the transient delight of the present and the enduring agony of irreversible loss. Let's delve into the statistics. According to the World Health Organization, alcohol is responsible for approximately 5.1% of the global burden of disease and injury. Moreover, alcohol misuse contributes to over 200 diseases and injury conditions, ranging from liver cirrhosis to various forms of cancer. Consider the devastating consequences of alcohol-related accidents, such as drunk driving incidents. Each year, Countless lives are cut short, families shattered, and communities left reeling from the aftermath of these preventable tragedies. In the United States alone, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration reported that alcohol-impaired driving fatalities accounted for 28% of all traffic-related deaths. Moreover, the economic toll of alcohol misuse is staggering with an estimated $249 billion being spent annually in the United States alone on healthcare, criminal justice, and lost productivity associated with excessive alcohol consumption. In the face of undeniable statistics, it's crucial to fully recognize the horrifying danger alcohol poses to health. If you're holding a glass of alcohol, set it down and watch this entire video. I'll tell you why alcohol is one of the deadliest assassins among foods and beverages. Let's start with your liver. 1. Liver Damage Liver damage caused by alcohol consumption is a well-documented phenomenon, yet the underlying scientific reasons might not be commonly understood. When alcohol is consumed, it is metabolized primarily in the liver. This process generates toxic byproducts, such as acetaldehyde, which can inflict damage on liver cells. Imagine the liver as a resilient filter. With moderate alcohol intake, it efficiently processes toxins. However, excessive drinking overloads this filter, causing it to clog and eventually fail, much like pouring too much grease down a kitchen sink, leading to blockages and damage. Moreover, chronic alcohol consumption can lead to inflammation and the formation of scar tissue within the liver, a condition known as cirrhosis. Over time, this can impair liver function and even lead to liver failure. For older adults in the United States, 
it's crucial to grasp the magnitude of this issue. According to the National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism, nearly half of all liver cirrhosis-related deaths are attributable to alcohol consumption. Additionally, studies have shown that even moderate alcohol intake can contribute to liver damage over time, emphasizing the importance of moderation or abstinence, particularly among older individuals who may be more susceptible to the effects of alcohol. Moving on to the topic of compromised immunity, have you noticed any recent changes in your health or lifestyle that might affect your body's ability to fight off infections? 2. Weakened Immune System Studies have shown that even moderate alcohol intake can lead to measurable changes in immune function. For example, research published in the journal Alcohol Research and Health indicates that consuming just two to three standard drinks can result in a significant decrease in the activity of natural killer cells, a type of white blood cell essential for combating viral infections. This reduction in immune cell function can last for up to 24 hours after alcohol consumption. Furthermore, Chronic alcohol abuse can have more profound effects on immune function. In fact, NIAA reports that approximately 10 to 15 percent of individuals with chronic alcohol use disorder will develop cirrhosis over 10 to 20 years of heavy drinking. Regarding the impact on digestive health, a study published in the journal Gut found that excessive alcohol intake can disrupt the balance of gut microbiota, leading to dysbiosis a condition characterized by an imbalance of beneficial and harmful bacteria in the gut. This disruption can contribute to inflammation and impair the absorption of nutrients essential for supporting immune function. To put these findings into perspective, consider this scenario. An individual who regularly consumes excessive amounts of alcohol may experience symptoms of alcohol-related gastritis, such as abdominal pain and nausea. Data from the American College of Gastroenterology suggests that alcohol-related gastritis affects approximately 10 to 20 percent of heavy drinkers, with symptoms ranging from mild discomfort to severe inflammation of the stomach lining. Moving on to concerns relating to the heart and blood vessels. 3. Cardiovascular Problems One major scientific reason for the link between alcohol and cardiovascular problems lies in its effect on blood pressure. Alcohol can raise blood pressure levels, increasing the workload on the heart and leading to conditions like hypertension and eventually heart disease. For example, studies have shown that even moderate alcohol consumption can elevate blood pressure by 1 to 2 millimeters of mercury, which may seem small but can have significant implications over time, especially in older individuals. Moreover, alcohol abuse can also disrupt lipid metabolism, leading to unfavorable changes in cholesterol levels, with increased LDL cholesterol and decreased HDL cholesterol, further contributing to the development of atherosclerosis and coronary artery disease. Let's picture your heart and blood vessels as a well-oiled machine, working smoothly to keep you going. When you drink alcohol moderately, it's like using top-quality fuel, helping your machine run efficiently without any hiccups. But when you drink too much, it's like dumping thick, grimy oil into the machine's gears. Instead of running smoothly, your machine starts to cough and sputter, struggling to function properly. Over time, this buildup of gunk can cause serious damage, leading to problems like high blood pressure, heart disease, and stroke. So, just like you wouldn't pour sludge into your car's engine, it's important to be mindful of how much alcohol you consume to keep your heart and blood vessels healthy and running smoothly. Moving forward with the discussion, have you noticed any changes in cognitive function after the incident? 4. Brain Damage Our brain is like a complex communication system, and alcohol can mess with this system. Drinking a lot over a long time can lead to serious problems. One big issue is that alcohol can stop our brain from making new brain cells. Imagine our brain as a garden and alcohol is like a weed that stops new plants from growing. Studies show that if someone drinks a lot, it can reduce the growth of new brain cells by up to 40%. This is a big deal because our brain needs those new cells to stay healthy. Another problem is something called oxidative stress. This is like the wear and tear on our brain cells. Too much alcohol can create stress that damages our brain cells and causes inflammation. It's like rust on a car, if there's too much, 
the car won't work well. Now, think about a special part of our brain called the hippocampus. It's like the memory center. Too much alcohol can shrink this part, making it harder for us to remember things. Let's talk numbers. Studies have found that chronic alcohol use can reduce the size of the hippocampus by about 10%. That's a significant drop and can lead to memory problems. So, the bottom line is that while having a drink now and then might be okay, too much alcohol over time can really hurt our brains. Moving to a critical health topic, have you ever considered the impact of abnormal cell growth and its implications on overall well-being? 5. Cancer Firstly, ethanol, the primary component of alcoholic beverages, is metabolized in the body to acetaldehyde, a known carcinogen. Chronic exposure to acetaldehyde can cause DNA damage, leading to mutations and the initiation of cancerous growths. Additionally, alcohol can act as a solvent, enhancing the absorption of other carcinogens present in tobacco smoke, further increasing the risk of cancer. According to the American Cancer Society, even moderate alcohol consumption can elevate the likelihood of developing certain cancers, such as breast, liver, and esophageal cancer. For example, a meta-analysis published in the Journal of the National Cancer Institute found that women who consumed three or more alcoholic drinks per day had a 1.5 times higher risk of developing breast cancer compared to non-drinkers. Even moderate alcohol consumption, defined as one drink per day, was associated with a 7% increase in breast cancer risk. The mechanism behind this correlation lies in the ability of alcohol to increase estrogen levels in the body. Elevated estrogen levels have been linked to an augmented risk of breast cancer development. Additionally, alcohol may interfere with the body's ability to metabolize and excrete estrogen efficiently, further exacerbating the risk. Moving on from traditional conceptions of wellness, have you noticed any changes in your emotional state lately? 6. Mental health issues Firstly, alcohol acts as a depressant on the central nervous system. While it might initially induce feelings of euphoria or relaxation, excessive consumption can disrupt neurotransmitter balance, leading to depressive symptoms. For instance, alcohol inhibits the release of serotonin, a neurotransmitter crucial for mood regulation. Reduced serotonin levels are linked to conditions like depression and anxiety. Moreover, chronic alcohol use can impair cognitive function and exacerbate existing mental health issues. Studies have shown that prolonged alcohol abuse damages brain structures responsible for emotional regulation and decision-making. This can manifest as increased irritability, impulsivity, and difficulty coping with stress. Furthermore, there's a bidirectional relationship between alcohol use and mental health. Individuals with pre-existing mental health conditions are more likely to turn to alcohol as a form of self-medication. However, this can create a cycle where alcohol temporarily alleviates symptoms but ultimately worsens the underlying condition. For older adults in the U.S., the statistics are alarming. According to the National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism, approximately 10% to 15% of adults aged 65 and older engage in risky drinking behavior. This demographic is particularly vulnerable due to age-related physiological changes that affect alcohol metabolism, leading to higher blood alcohol concentrations and increased susceptibility to its effects. To illustrate, consider a scenario where an older adult experiencing loneliness and depression turns to alcohol to cope. Initially, they may feel temporary relief, but over time, their mental health deteriorates further due to alcohol's detrimental effects on neurotransmitter function and cognitive abilities. Moving to a different aspect of digestive health, have you ever wondered about the factors that can lead to inflammation in the pancreas? 7. Pancreatitis When alcohol is consumed, it is metabolized by the body primarily in the liver. However, excessive alcohol intake can overwhelm the liver's capacity, leading to the accumulation of toxic byproducts. These toxic substances can then travel to the pancreas, causing inflammation and damage to its cells. One of the key culprits in alcohol-induced pancreatitis is acetaldehyde, 
a toxic compound formed during the breakdown of alcohol in the liver. Acetaldehyde is known to trigger inflammation and oxidative stress, which can directly damage pancreatic tissue. Furthermore, alcohol consumption can disrupt the delicate balance of enzymes in the pancreas. Normally, digestive enzymes are released in a controlled manner to aid in the digestion of food. However, alcohol can disrupt this process, leading to the premature activation of enzymes within the pancreas itself. This can cause the enzymes to start digesting pancreatic tissue, leading to inflammation and pancreatitis. Statistics reveal the significant impact of alcohol on pancreatitis. Studies have shown that chronic alcohol consumption increases the risk of developing pancreatitis by up to three times compared to non-drinkers. For example, a study conducted in the United States found that among patients hospitalized for acute pancreatitis, over 70% had a history of alcohol abuse. Moreover, the severity of pancreatitis tends to be greater in individuals with a history of heavy alcohol consumption. Chronic alcohol abuse not only increases the risk of developing pancreatitis but also worsens its prognosis, leading to higher rates of complications and mortality. Do you drink alcohol? Have you ever seen anyone who drinks alcohol and still leads a happy life with stable health? Leave a comment below this video, I'm eager to learn how they overcome these dangers. Thank you for watching, if you've gained valuable insights from the content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated with similar valuable content in the future. In conclusion, the consequences of combining alcohol with our bodies can be dire and irreversible. If you or anyone you care about is grappling with alcohol addiction, be warned, the path ahead is fraught with peril. However, there is hope. Seek help and support immediately. Therapy, support groups, medication, and residential rehabilitation programs are vital lifelines. Recovery is not a distant dream but a tangible reality. Embrace the available resources, reclaim your health, and seize control of your well-being before it's too late. Top 7 Foods Silently Sabotaging Your Immune System From Within Have you ever wondered why you seem to catch colds more often? Why does your body appear less resistant to external factors than before? It could be due to your dietary habits. Picture this. You're eating what you think is a healthy diet, yet you still find yourself getting sick more often than you'd like. What if I told you that some of the foods you're consuming could be secretly weakening your body's defense mechanisms? According to the National Institutes of Health, an estimated 2.4 million Americans are living with celiac disease, while the incidence of non-celiac gluten sensitivity NCGS, may be even higher due to excessive gluten consumption. But don't worry. I'm not here to scare you or make you give up your favorite meals. Instead, I'll be sharing practical tips and alternative options to help you make informed choices and boost your immune system naturally. So grab a pen and paper because you'll want to take notes on this one. From sugary snacks to sneaky additives, we'll explore how seemingly harmless foods can wreak havoc on your immune health without you even realizing it. By eliminating these from your daily diet, you can achieve a better balance and overall health for your body. Before you click away, make sure to stick around until the end of the video because maybe the information I'm about to share could potentially save you from future health woes. Let's get started with sugary foods. 1. Sugary foods Sugary foods are prevalent in today's diet, enticing us with their sweet flavor and instant satisfaction. From sodas and candies to pastries and desserts, these treats offer a quick energy boost but come at a cost to our health. While we're aware that excessive sugar intake is linked to obesity and diabetes, its impact on our immune system often goes unnoticed. When we indulge in sugary snacks, sweetened drinks, and processed foods, it sets off a chain reaction in our bodies that weakens our immune response. High sugar consumption disrupts the balance of our gut bacteria, causing dysbiosis, where harmful bacteria outnumber the beneficial ones. This imbalance compromises our gut barrier, making it more permeable and triggering inflammation. 
Dysbiosis has been linked to various immune-related conditions like inflammatory bowel diseases, allergies, and autoimmune disorders. Additionally, dysbiosis affects the production of short-chain fatty acids, SCFAs, crucial for regulating immune responses. Exceeding the recommended sugar intake, which averages about 17 teaspoons daily for the average American, not only contributes to obesity and diabetes but also compromises our immune health by disrupting our gut microbiota. One lesser-known tip about sugary foods is to pair them with fiber-rich foods. For example, if you're going to have a sweet treat like a piece of cake or a cookie, try to eat it alongside a source of fiber, such as a handful of nuts or a piece of fruit. Fiber helps slow down the absorption of sugar into the bloodstream preventing spikes in blood sugar levels and reducing the risk of energy crashes afterward. This simple strategy can help mitigate some of the negative effects of consuming sugary foods and promote better blood sugar control over time. Next, let's explore the world of foods containing saturated fats, with their delicious flavors hiding potential health risks. 2. Saturated fat-containing foods. Do you often consume red meats and dairy products? Saturated fats, commonly found in animal products like red meat, butter, and cheese, as well as tropical oils like coconut and palm oil, are notorious for their association with heart disease. They elevate LDL cholesterol levels, leading to arterial plaque buildup and increasing the risk of heart attacks and strokes. Moreover, saturated fats trigger inflammation, exacerbating cardiovascular disease risk and compromising immune function. High intake of saturated fats can lead to chronic low-grade inflammation, impairing the immune system's ability to fight infections. Additionally, they disrupt endothelial cell function, impacting blood vessel health and immune surveillance. Saturated fats also alter gut microbiota composition, promoting harmful bacteria growth and weakening immune responses. Worryingly, the Western diet's widespread consumption of saturated fats far exceeds recommended limits, with the average American consuming almost double the recommended daily intake. To put things into perspective, let's take a closer look at the numbers. According to the American Heart Association, the recommended daily limit for saturated fat intake is no more than 13 grams for a 2,000-calorie diet. However, the average American consumes about 24 grams of saturated fat per day, almost double the recommended amount. This excessive intake of saturated fats not only poses a risk to heart health but also undermines the body's immune defenses. An effective strategy to reduce the impact of saturated fat-containing foods on the immune system is to choose leaner cuts of meat. For example, opt for skinless poultry, lean cuts of beef or pork, and trim visible fat from meats before cooking. This helps lower the overall intake of saturated fat while still allowing you to enjoy animal protein. Additionally, incorporating more plant-based sources of protein, such as beans, lentils, and tofu, can further decrease saturated fat consumption and provide essential nutrients for immune health. Let's delve into the world of foods containing a common protein known as gluten. 3. Gluten-Containing Foods Gluten, a protein present in wheat, barley, rye, and related products like bread and pasta, can cause adverse reactions in individuals with celiac disease, an autoimmune disorder affecting about 1% of the U.S. population. The gut-associated lymphoid tissue, GALT, located in the intestinal mucosa, plays a crucial role in immune surveillance and tolerance to dietary antigens. However, in celiac disease or non-celiac gluten sensitivity, Gluten ingestion triggers an immune response in the gut, leading to inflammation and tissue damage. In celiac disease, the immune system mistakenly targets and damages the villi in the small intestine, causing symptoms like abdominal pain, diarrhea, fatigue, and nutrient deficiencies. Even in those without celiac disease, gluten can still provoke immune-mediated reactions, possibly disrupting gut barrier function and increasing intestinal permeability. Gluten-containing foods may exacerbate inflammatory conditions like irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, and inflammatory bowel disease, IBD, further compromising gut health and immune function. Despite affecting a smaller percentage, 
non-celiac gluten sensitivity may impact up to 13% of the population, often leading to undiagnosed or misdiagnosed cases due to varied symptoms and limited awareness among healthcare professionals. One effective tip to minimize the impact of gluten-containing foods on the immune system is to choose naturally gluten-free alternatives. For example, instead of traditional wheat pasta, opt for pasta made from alternative grains like brown rice, quinoa, or chickpeas. Similarly, choose gluten-free bread made from ingredients like almond flour or tapioca flour. By selecting these alternatives, individuals sensitive to gluten can still enjoy their favorite foods without experiencing negative effects on their immune system. Next, let's explore the popular convenience foods known for their ease and delicious flavors. Can you guess what type of foods they are? 4. Preservative and Additive Containing Foods Preservative and additive containing foods, commonly found in processed and packaged products, are treated with chemical substances to prolong shelf life, enhance flavor, color, or texture, or prevent spoilage. While practical in food production, their effects on immune function are not fully understood. These substances can disrupt the delicate balance of the gut microbiota, compromising immune health. Sulfites, nitrites, and artificial food colorings are among the additives known to adversely affect gut health and immunity. For instance, sulfites, prevalent in dried fruits and processed meats, can cause gastrointestinal symptoms and allergic reactions, compromising immunity. Nitrites, found in processed meats, have been linked to gastrointestinal disorders and colorectal cancer, impairing immune function. Artificial food colorings, like tartrazine and sunset yellow, have been associated with gut-related disorders and immune dysregulation, potentially triggering hyperactivity and allergies. Excessive consumption of these foods can contribute to chronic inflammation, driving immune dysfunction and various health problems, including autoimmune diseases and cancer. The average American's diet heavily relies on processed foods, containing up to 60% of calories from ultra-processed foods, laden with preservatives and additives, further compromising gut health and immunity over time. One helpful tip to minimize the impact of preservative and additive containing foods on health is to prioritize fresh, whole foods. For instance, instead of buying canned soups loaded with preservatives, consider making homemade soups using fresh vegetables, herbs, and spices. Additionally, when purchasing packaged snacks, look for options with minimal ingredients and avoid those with long lists of additives and artificial preservatives. By focusing on whole, unprocessed foods, individuals can reduce their exposure to potentially harmful chemicals and additives, supporting better overall health and well-being. Moving on into the realm of beverages, especially those containing stimulants that can significantly impact the immune system. 5. Stimulant-containing beverages Stimulant-containing beverages, like energy drinks, coffee, tea, and certain sodas, contain substances that stimulate the central nervous system, boosting alertness and energy levels. While initially beneficial, their long-term impact on immunity is not fully understood. These beverages typically contain caffeine, taurine, and guarana, among other ingredients, which can disrupt the body's stress response system. Excessive consumption can chronically activate stress hormones like cortisol, suppressing the immune system and increasing vulnerability to infections. Additionally, these drinks can disturb sleep patterns crucial for immune function, impairing the body's ability to repair cells, produce antibodies, and fight pathogens. Despite potential risks, stimulant beverages, especially energy drinks, are widely popular, with over 30% of U.S. adolescents regularly consuming them. According to the National Coffee Association, the average American adult consumes about three cups of coffee per day, with caffeine being the most widely consumed stimulant worldwide. While moderate caffeine intake is generally safe, excessive consumption from stimulant drinks can adversely affect immune health. Instead of consuming beverages containing stimulants, you should consider choosing natural and stimulant-free drinks to support your health and immune system. A good option is plain water or sugar-free sparkling water, which provides necessary hydration without any additives. 
If you prefer flavored drinks, you can try caffeine-free tea or coffee, or natural fruit teas and waters without added sugar. Additionally, another safe option is unsweetened milk or plant-based milk such as almond or soy milk. This way, you can enjoy delicious drinks without worrying about the negative effects of stimulants on your health and immune system. Transitioning to foods that appear appetizing but contain numerous harmful chemicals that can disrupt the body's immune system. 6. Hazardous Chemical-Laden Foods Do you frequently consume processed foods? Hazardous chemicals such as preservatives, artificial colors, flavors, and additives are commonly added to processed and packaged foods to enhance their shelf life, appearance, and taste. While these additives serve practical purposes in food production, their long-term effects on immune function are less widely understood. Hazardous chemical-laden foods can trigger inflammation and oxidative stress, compromising immune function over time. For instance, preservatives like sulfites in dried fruits and processed meats may trigger allergic reactions, exacerbating immune issues. Moreover, additives such as artificial sweeteners can disrupt gut bacteria, leading to immune dysregulation. The widespread consumption of these foods in the U.S. is concerning. On average, Americans consume about 270 pounds of processed and packaged food annually. While chronic diseases like heart disease and diabetes have multifactorial causes, poor diet plays a significant role. Though not all cases are directly linked to hazardous chemical-laden foods, their potential impact on immunity is noteworthy. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, chronic diseases such as heart disease, cancer, and diabetes are the leading causes of death and disability in the United States, with poor diet being a major contributing factor. One little-known tip to reduce the impact of hazardous chemical-laden foods is to prioritize organic options. Choose organic fruits and vegetables to minimize exposure to pesticides and herbicides. Additionally, opt for organic dairy and meat products to avoid hormones and antibiotics commonly found in conventionally raised animals. By selecting organic foods, individuals can reduce their intake of harmful chemicals, thereby supporting better overall health and potentially mitigating the negative effects on the immune system associated with consuming these hazardous substances. Last but not least, let's investigate the foods that are progressively deteriorating our liver health. 7. Stimulant-containing foods causing liver damage Stimulants such as alcohol, nicotine, and caffeine are known to have various effects on the liver, the body's primary detoxification organ. While moderate consumption of certain stimulants may not immediately cause liver damage, prolonged or excessive intake can lead to serious liver conditions over time. They induce oxidative stress and inflammation, leading to conditions like alcoholic liver disease and cirrhosis. For example, alcohol increases free radicals in the liver, causing oxidative damage, while nicotine damages liver cells and smoking raises the risk of fatty liver disease and liver cancer. Excessive caffeine consumption can also harm the liver, especially in those with existing liver conditions. Overall, stimulant-containing foods can have serious long-term effects on liver health. But perhaps the most concerning aspect of stimulant-containing foods is their widespread consumption in the modern diet. In the United States, for example, alcohol, cigarettes, and caffeine are commonly consumed by adults of all ages, with consumption rates steadily increasing over the years. Consider this, according to the National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism, approximately 86.3% of adults in the United States reported drinking alcohol at some point in their lifetime. To put things into perspective, let's take a closer look at the numbers. According to the American Cancer Society, Cigarette smoking is responsible for about 33% of all cancer deaths in the United States, including liver cancer. Meanwhile, the National Coffee Association reports that the average American adult consumes about three cups of coffee per day. So, moderation and mindfulness are key when it comes to consuming stimulant-containing foods that may cause liver damage. It's important to limit alcohol intake, quit smoking, and monitor caffeine consumption to protect liver health. Prioritizing a balanced diet, regular exercise, 
and seeking professional guidance can help mitigate the risk of liver-related issues associated with these foods. Taking proactive steps to reduce exposure to harmful stimulants can support overall health and well-being in the long run. Remember, small changes in lifestyle habits can make a big difference in safeguarding liver health. If you found the information in this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more insightful content like this in the future. Have you come across any other foods that could potentially harm your immune system? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll explore them further in upcoming videos. In conclusion, while overlooking the risks associated with these seven dangerous foods may seem insignificant, it's crucial to recognize that understanding the potential dangers transcends geographical boundaries. In our globalized world, exposure to diverse cuisines and ingredients is inevitable. Therefore, staying informed is key to protecting yourself from unforeseen health risks. The dangers of combining food groups in diet. Have you ever stepped into the kitchen, eager to experiment with creating delicious dishes on your own? Do you find yourself wondering why some individuals, after preparing their own meals, experience symptoms like high fever, nausea, and even fainting, classic signs of food poisoning? Let's delve into the numbers. Did you know that annually, over 48 million people in the United States alone fall victim to foodborne illnesses, resulting in 128,000 hospitalizations and 3,000 deaths? Shockingly, many of these cases stem from seemingly harmless kitchen combinations. So, before you confidently venture into the kitchen tonight, remember that a careless mix of two seemingly harmless ingredients might lead to a dangerous concoction in your pot. Stay tuned for essential advice and a list of food combinations to avoid, ensuring a safer culinary experience. Did you know that common pairings like certain fruits and dairy products can produce harmful compounds? Be patient and stick around until the end of the video, as we unveil crucial information that could save both you and your loved ones from unforeseen culinary mishaps, backed by the stark reality of these statistics. Start now with our two common foods. 1. High-protein foods and high-carbohydrate foods. High-protein foods are essential for building and repairing tissues, producing enzymes and hormones, and supporting overall bodily functions. Examples include chicken breast, Greek yogurt, tofu, lentils, salmon, eggs, cottage cheese, turkey breast, quinoa, and almonds. These foods vary in their protein content per serving, with chicken breast offering around 26 grams per 3-ounce serving, Greek yogurt providing approximately 17 grams per 6-ounce serving, and tofu containing about 8 grams per 3-ounce serving. High-carbohydrate foods are those that contain a significant amount of carbohydrates per serving, serving as the body's primary source of energy. Examples of high-carbohydrate foods include starchy vegetables like potatoes, sweet potatoes, and corn, as well as grains such as rice, pasta, bread, and oats. Fruits like bananas, apples, and oranges also contribute to carbohydrate intake, primarily in the form of natural sugars and fiber. For instance, a medium-sized baked potato contains approximately 37 grams of carbohydrates, while a cup of cooked pasta provides around 40 grams. Similarly, a slice of whole wheat bread contains approximately 12 grams of carbohydrates, and a cup of cooked oatmeal offers about 27 grams. Dietary recommendations and nutritional education often fail to account for the complex interplay of meal composition, instead focusing narrowly on individual food groups. This oversight perpetuates a lack of awareness regarding the specific synergies between different types of foods. Consider this, the conventional Western diet, characterized by common combinations like steak and potatoes or burgers with buns, encourages the habit of pairing high-protein foods with starchy carbohydrates without fully considering their health implications. However, this practice can lead to immediate effects such as quick energy boosts and feelings of satiety, while also masking underlying risks like blood sugar spikes followed by crashes, ultimately contributing to gradual weight gain. In recent years, there has been a trend towards combining high-protein and high-carbohydrate foods, 
often promoted as a means to optimize energy levels, stimulate muscle growth, and support overall health. Yet, the potential risks of this approach are frequently underestimated, particularly among older adults. Let's delve into the specifics. While both protein and carbohydrates are essential nutrients, their optimal ratios vary depending on individual needs and activity levels. A balanced diet typically includes around 10 to 35% of total calories from protein and 45 to 65% from carbohydrates. However, deviations from these proportions can lead to metabolic imbalances. For instance, a standard serving of chicken breast contains approximately 25 grams of protein, while a cup of cooked white rice provides around 45 grams of carbohydrates. Individually, these macronutrients offer valuable energy sources and contribute to bodily functions. Still, when consumed disproportionately, they can disrupt blood sugar levels and contribute to weight gain. Despite appearing balanced, certain combinations of high-protein and high-carbohydrate foods can pose health risks. For example, pairing a protein-rich burger with starchy fries may lead to digestive discomfort. Similarly, dishes like chicken alfredo pasta, though protein-rich, can cause sluggishness and weight gain due to the combination of high-protein, high-fat dairy, and refined carbohydrates. Even seemingly healthy options like a protein smoothie with a banana or eggs with toast can have drawbacks. Incorporating a banana into a protein smoothie can cause blood sugar imbalances, while pairing eggs with white toast can result in blood sugar spikes and subsequent hunger. Research indicates that high-carbohydrate meals, particularly when combined with protein-rich foods, can significantly elevate postprandial glucose and insulin levels. This imbalance poses heightened risks for older adults, whose metabolic rates may have slowed, potentially leading to muscle loss, decreased energy levels, and impaired cognitive function. Now, let's shift our focus to the interaction between high acidic foods and high alkaline foods. Ever wondered about their combined effects? 2. High acidic foods and high alkaline foods. High acidic foods are those that have a low pH level meaning they are acidic in nature. These foods can sometimes contribute to acidity in the body when consumed in excess. Examples of high acidic foods include citrus fruits like oranges, lemons, and grapefruits, which contain citric acid. Additionally, tomatoes and tomato-based products such as tomato sauce and salsa are high in acidity due to their content of citric and malic acids. Other examples include vinegar, pickles, and certain types of berries like cranberries and blueberries. Specifically, a medium-sized orange contains approximately 51 mg of citric acid, contributing to its tart flavor and acidity. Similarly, a cup of tomatoes provides about 5 mg of citric acid and 500 mg of malic acid, making them highly acidic. Additionally, a tablespoon of vinegar contains roughly 5 mL of acetic acid, further adding to its acidic nature. High alkaline foods are those that are believed to have an alkalizing effect on the body when metabolized. These foods are often promoted for their potential to help balance the body's pH levels and reduce acidity. Examples of high alkaline foods include fruits like watermelon, cantaloupe, and honeydew melon, which have a high water content and are rich in vitamins and minerals. Leafy greens such as spinach, kale, and Swiss chard are also considered high alkaline due to their nutrient density and low acid content. Additionally, certain vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, and cucumber are alkalizing when consumed raw or lightly cooked. Other examples include almonds, which are an alkaline-forming nut, and tofu, a plant-based protein source that is less acidic than animal-derived proteins. For instance, a serving of watermelon, which is about one cup diced, contains approximately 170 grams of water and provides only 46 calories. It is also rich in vitamins A and C, potassium, and magnesium. Similarly, a cup of raw spinach contains about 7 calories and is an excellent source of vitamin K, vitamin A, folate, and iron. Lately, there's been a surge in advocating for high acidic and high alkaline foods for their supposed health benefits. Despite their seeming balance, 
combining these extremes can backfire, often overlooked by many. Let's dive in. High acidic foods, like citrus fruits and processed meats, boost acidity levels in the body, while high alkaline foods, such as leafy greens and nuts, lean towards alkalinity. Advocates claim that balancing acidity and alkalinity fosters overall health. But here's the catch. Our body tightly controls its pH levels, keeping blood slightly alkaline within a narrow range of about 7.35 to 7.45. When we consume extremes, the body strains to maintain this balance, sometimes neglecting other crucial functions. For example, a diet mixing acidic and alkaline foods can prompt calcium loss from bones to neutralize excess acidity, upping the risk of osteoporosis. Plus, excessive acidity strains the kidneys, vital for acid-base balance. Think about a typical meal like a bacon and tomato sandwich. Despite seeming harmless, a serving of bacon packs around 12 grams of fat and 30 milligrams of cholesterol. Coupled with acidic tomatoes, it spikes meal acidity, worsening issues like acid reflux or GERD. In essence, while balancing acidic and alkaline food sounds good, we must grasp the health implications. Rather than fixating on extremes, a varied diet with fruits, veggies, whole grains, and lean proteins promotes lasting health. Another common combo is steak with spinach. A typical serving of steak contains approximately 25 grams of protein and 3 milligrams of iron. However, its acidity may counteract the alkalinity of spinach, which is rich in vitamins and minerals like vitamin K and folate. This clash can lead to digestive discomfort for some individuals and put additional strain on the body's pH balance. Take the classic strawberries and cream dessert. While strawberries are packed with vitamin C and fiber, a cup of cream contains about 45 grams of fat. Individually, these foods may not pose significant health risks, but when consumed together in large quantities, especially as a frequent indulgence, they can contribute to weight gain and elevated cholesterol levels due to the high fat content in the cream. Additionally, the acidic nature of strawberries may exacerbate symptoms of acid reflux for some individuals, highlighting the importance of moderation and balance in dietary choices. Have you noticed any of the combinations in your daily meals that I mentioned above? Share in the comments section of this video. If you found the content helpful, don't forget to show a little support by subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much. In conclusion, while certain combinations of foods may seem harmless or even beneficial, improper pairing can wreak havoc on your digestive system and overall health. Consuming incompatible food groups can lead to bloating, discomfort, nutrient malabsorption, and even long-term health issues. The human digestive system is finely tuned to process specific types of foods in certain combinations. When we disrupt this delicate balance by mixing incompatible food groups, such as proteins and carbohydrates, we create a burden on our digestive organs. This can result in inefficient digestion, fermentation of undigested food in the gut, and the production of toxins that may harm the body over time. Doing these five things excessively will permanently clog arteries. The most noticeable signs of clogged arteries are often chest pain, shortness of breath, and fatigue. These symptoms, if ignored, can lead to severe health complications. According to recent studies, approximately 735,000 Americans suffer from a heart attack each year due to clogged arteries, resulting in over 600,000 deaths annually. These numbers underscore the urgent need for preventive measures and lifestyle changes to mitigate the risk of artery blockage. And this is truly dangerous. Did you know that seemingly simple daily habits of yours can actually act as a toxic dose, permanently destroying your arteries? They become even more perilous with subtle signs, and you won't notice their harm right away. And that's why you need to watch this video. If you find yourself in it, consider making a change before it's too late. Starting with the first disaster, it's crystal clear, smoking. 1. Smoking. Firstly, let's understand the mechanics, 
smoking introduces a cocktail of harmful chemicals into the bloodstream, including carbon monoxide and nicotine. These substances initiate a cascade of events, leading to the buildup of plaque within the arteries, a process known as atherosclerosis. The statistics are sobering. According to the World Health Organization, smoking increases the risk of developing atherosclerosis by two to four times compared to non-smokers. Furthermore, a study published in the New England Journal of Medicine revealed that smokers are up to six times more likely to suffer from coronary artery disease than non-smokers. But why does smoking have such a profound effect on arterial health? It's rooted in the intricate interplay of chemicals and biological processes within the body. Nicotine, for instance, constricts blood vessels, reducing blood flow and oxygen delivery to vital organs. Additionally, it promotes the release of adrenaline, which raises blood pressure and heart rate, further straining the cardiovascular system. Moreover, the toxins present in cigarette smoke damage the delicate endothelial lining of the arteries, triggering inflammation and oxidative stress. This creates an environment conducive to the formation of plaque, narrowing the arteries and impeding blood flow. Over time, this can lead to devastating consequences such as heart attacks and strokes. In essence, smoking isn't just a bad habit, it's a leading cause of preventable cardiovascular disease. Quitting smoking can be challenging, but one often overlooked tactic is to incorporate exercise into your daily routine. Research shows that physical activity can help reduce cravings and withdrawal symptoms associated with quitting. Moving on to another disaster that we're all familiar with at number 2. 2. Excessive Alcohol Consumption According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, excessive drinking accounts for approximately 88,000 deaths annually in the United States alone, with a staggering economic cost of over $249 billion per year. Further, research from the National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism, NIAAA, reveals that excessive alcohol consumption is strongly associated with elevated levels of LDL cholesterol, a key contributor to arterial plaque formation. In fact, chronic heavy drinking can lead to a 15-20% to increase in LDL cholesterol levels, exacerbating the risk of arterial blockages and cardiovascular events. Moreover, Studies examining the link between alcohol consumption and hypertension highlight a concerning trend. The Framingham Heart Study, for instance, found that individuals who consume more than three alcoholic drinks per day are at a significantly higher risk of developing high blood pressure, a major factor in the progression of atherosclerosis. If you can't quit it immediately, consider adopting this habit, perhaps one you're not aware of yet. Many overlook the importance of pacing while drinking, but it's crucial in curbing excessive alcohol intake. Start by alternating each alcoholic beverage with a glass of water or a non-alcoholic drink. This not only slows down your alcohol consumption but also keeps you hydrated and lessens the effects of alcohol on your body. 3. High Fat Intake Some examples of foods associated with high fat intake include fried foods, processed meats like bacon and sausage, buttery pastries, and creamy sauces. Research conducted by the American Heart Association reveals that individuals consuming diets high in saturated fats are 23% more likely to develop arterial plaques compared to those with lower fat intake. Moreover, a meta-analysis conducted by the National Institutes of Health found that each 5% increase in calories from saturated fat is associated with a 17% increase in the risk of coronary artery disease. These findings highlight the intricate mechanisms at play. Saturated fats stimulate the production of inflammatory molecules, triggering an immune response that leads to the accumulation of cholesterol within the arterial walls. Over time, this buildup narrows the arteries, impeding blood flow and increasing the risk of heart attacks and strokes. One effective but lesser-known tip is to incorporate more fiber-rich foods into your diet. Fiber helps regulate digestion and can make you feel fuller for longer, reducing the temptation to indulge in high-fat snacks. Additionally, opting for lean protein sources like chicken, fish, and tofu can significantly lower your fat intake while still providing essential nutrients. 
Next, let's delve into the particular danger associated with sugar. 4. Excessive Sugar Consumption Excessive sugar intake can be found in various foods and drinks such as soda, candy, pastries, and sweetened snacks. According to the World Health Organization, WHO, the recommended daily intake of added sugars should not exceed 10% of total daily calories, with further benefits observed when limited to 5%. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, found that adults who consumed 25% or more of their daily calories from added sugars were more than three times as likely to die from cardiovascular disease compared to those who consumed less than 10%. Furthermore, research published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology indicates that high sugar intake is associated with a significant increase in triglyceride levels. This elevation in triglycerides contributes to the formation of arterial plaque, leading to atherosclerosis and subsequent artery narrowing. In fact, individuals with the highest sugar intake were found to have a 20% greater risk of developing coronary artery disease compared to those with the lowest intake. Reducing excessive sugar intake is crucial for maintaining overall health. One lesser-known tip is to opt for whole fruits instead of processed fruit juices. Whole fruits contain fiber which slows down the absorption of sugar into the bloodstream, preventing spikes in blood sugar levels. Additionally, incorporating protein and healthy fats into meals can help stabilize blood sugar levels and reduce cravings for sugary snacks. Finally, there's another common habit that you definitely don't want to miss. 5. Excessive Salt Intake Excessive salt intake is commonly found in processed foods like canned soups, salty snacks, and cured meats. Atherosclerosis occurs when excess salt in the bloodstream contributes to the accumulation of plaque along the inner walls of the arteries. This plaque is made up of cholesterol, fat, calcium, and other substances found in the blood. Over time, the plaque hardens and narrows the arteries, restricting blood flow to vital organs like the heart and brain. Research from reputable organizations such as the American Heart Association reveals that high salt intake is directly linked to an increased risk of hypertension, stroke, heart attack, and other cardiovascular diseases. According to the World Health Organization, over 1.65 million deaths worldwide are attributable to high sodium intake each year. Furthermore, scientific studies have elucidated the underlying mechanisms behind this phenomenon, showing how salt promotes inflammation, endothelial dysfunction, and oxidative stress within the arterial walls, all of which contribute to the development of atherosclerosis. Reducing excessive salt intake is crucial for maintaining good health, yet many overlook simple strategies to achieve this. One often overlooked tip is flavoring dishes with herbs and spices instead of salt. Not only does this add depth and complexity to your meals, but it also reduces the need for added salt. Additionally, opting for fresh ingredients over processed ones can significantly lower your sodium intake. Another effective method is gradually reducing salt in recipes, allowing your taste buds to adjust over time. Experimenting with different cooking techniques like grilling, roasting, or steaming can enhance natural flavors without relying on salt. Finally, Always check food labels for hidden sodium content, as many packaged foods contain high levels of salt. By incorporating these tips into your cooking routine, you can effortlessly lower your salt intake and improve your overall health. Have you realized if you've consumed any of these foods? Leave a comment below this video to let everyone know. Also, if you find the content engaging, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, it greatly motivates me. Sincerely thank you. Excessively indulging in the five things I listed earlier is like a slowly stabbing knife to your heart, unbeknownst to you, starting with artery destruction. Changing a habit isn't easy, but with awareness of the danger, gradually limiting these bad habits will surprisingly have a significant impact. Moreover, in the next video, I believe you'll want to hear about small simple changes in life, because the habits you're doing every day. But unbeknownst to you, one day your arteries will be severely clogged due to the dangerous habits you overlooked. In the final part of this video, I've prepared three other related videos.
keep on the journey to explore simple yet impactful things. Goodbye and see you in the next videos.